Okay, first question is list the element in the set. And the condition is a whole number between 6 and 10. Whole number is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So it's in between 6 and 10. Oh, yes, so it basically is this number. The number is then the set formed by open the bracelet 7, 8, and 9. Que corresponde with the option, option, option D, no? Option D. Is the correct option. This. Okay, number two is the set of all positive integer power of 3. Power of 3 is 3 to the 1, 3 to the 2nd, 3 to the 3rd, 3 to the 4th, 3 to the 5th, and so on. No? This is 3, this is 9, this is 27, this is 81. This is 243, and it's continue forever. Da, da, da. Same pattern. Uh, uh, this is corresponding with the option 8. Option A is correct. This option is correct. Okay, number 3 is right set. The set in set builder notation. It's obvious looking in this example that this is the integer number positive, negative, and zero. Okay, so when you write in set builder notation, you write open the brace and put the name of the variable such that, and you put the the condition is basically integer number. X is an integer number. Uh, it corresponded with the option D. This is the answer. Okay, another, another, another more mathematical symbolic way is X such that X belong to the C. Okay, C corresponded with the integer number. Okay, number four, look at the partner of this set. The, 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 the first element is negative 3 and this continues forever no it is basically only odd number e of course are integer number no fraction no decimal okay so basically the in my opinion the best choice is c que is x such that x is an odd integer number mm -hmm. greater than greater than negative 4 ok perfect That's the answer. ok number 5 is find the cardinality number of the set A in this case we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 elements now the cardinality is the number of the element which is 5 which corresponds with the option B Okay, number six is similar. This is the given set, and that 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 indicates following the same pattern. So it says we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's obvious then that cardinality of the say eight is ten. Okay, correspond with the option eight. Option eight uh -huh. is ten. Yes, perfect. Okay, number seven is using this symbol because this symbol indicates subset to verify that one set is subset to another subset you verify that every element for example 4 is inside the other set 6 is inside this 
and eight is inside this. So this every element in this set is inside this. Therefore, yes, it's a set. It corresponds with the option eight here. Okay. Okay. This is a little bit weird and philosophic problem. This symbol indicates empty set. It's a set that has no element. It always the empty set. Empty set is always subset to the any set. In this case, empty set then is subset of the itself. Empty set. It corresponds with the option B. It no? is the correct answer. Okay, number nine uh -huh. is again using this symbol, okay, so set, subset. Remember, uh, let me see the east element, three, five, and seven, and the other set is, is bigger. It's the odd counting number. So three is odd counting number, five is odd counting number, and seven are odd counting number. Therefore, uh, the subset is okay, it's A, it's correct. Option A. And a subset. Okay, this is a set A. And you need to write, uh, see the statement is true or false. Uh -huh. Does it ends up with the notation saying it's an odd counting number greater than one? The odd. Greater than one and less than 15. Uh -huh. The odd number greater than 1 is, is 3, uh -huh. 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. The next is 15, because 15 is equal to 15, so it's less than Okay, perfect. It's true. The statement is true. It's true. It's true. It corresponds with this option. Great. Okay, 11. 11 is every element in C, which is 5, 9, and 13. Is also element in in A. Let me see. Five is here. Nine is here. And thirteen is here. Okay, it's true. It's true. It's true. Also, and twelve <coughs> is thirteen belong to B. Thirteen belong to B. Oh no. Okay, thirteen is not belong to B <coughs> because in B we have no thirteen. This is false. Okay, find the number 13. Find the number of subset of set. Of the set. Because in this case, we have three elements. 5, 6, and 7. And remember the formula. <coughs> the formula for finding the number of subset is 2 to the m. And m represents the element or the cardinality of the set. Mm -hmm. This is 2 to the third power, which is 8. Basically, we have 8 elements. What is the 8 element? This is not the question. The question is just the number, which is 8, that corresponds with the option B. This is the question. This is the answer. Now, now, by curiosity, what is the element? The element is 5, the, the set, or the subset, uh, 6, alone, 7 alone, and the pair 5 and 6, the pair 5 and 7, the pair 6 and 7, another subset is XL, and another subset is anti set, it always is subset of the any set. Okay, this is empty. In total, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, seven and 8. A. a is always, in this case, when you have three elements, the number of subset of the set. Okay, 14 is the set. Let me call A again. Capital A, formed by the even number, even number, between 11 and 22. Okay, the even number between 11 and 22 is 12, 14, 16, uh, 18, 20, 
24, 26, and the next is 28 gets bigger than 27, so it's until here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 elements. So the formula is 2 to the 8, power is 256 subset we have in total. Okay, the answer for the preview was 256. Now, 15, we have one set that contains 1, 2, 3, and 4 elements. Mon, that, some, dark. 4. So the cardinality of this set is 4. Then, then the number of subset is the formula 2 to the 4 power. That's 16. 16 is the answer. Or 15.